some quick tips for solving an equation where the coefficient of x is a fraction. The general rule is when x is being multiplied by something, you want to divide by that, right? But division of fractions is multiplying by the reciprocal. So instead of writing it as division, let's go straight to multiplying by the reciprocal. This is going to work all the time. This is what you want to do every time you see a problem like this. Now these reduce, lots of cross reducing here and here. One times x is just x, so we've eliminated the coefficient completely. On this side, you need to think of this as a fraction and go ahead and do the multiplication. So that's negative 156 over seven. And that's the final answer. If you like to change things to mixed numbers, you can, but that is acceptable the way it is. Let's look at another example. Again, we would want to divide, but we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So that's like 7 over negative 2. We're going to multiply this side by 7 over negative 2. So this reduces completely to positive 1x. And over here we have an interesting situation where we have a negative 2. I'm going to say negative 2 goes into negative 2 once, and negative 2 goes into 24 negative 12 times. Now multiply what's left, and we get x is negative 84. Final answer. And now we're going to try it with all kinds of things thrown in there, lots of rational numbers to deal with, no common denominators at all. So we start by getting rid of this piece. I'm going to add 8 and 3 fifths to both sides. I have 5 elevenths x remaining on this side equals and a mess. So over here, let's take this separately. So 8 and 3 fifths added to 2 thirds. We need a common denominator for those. And I'm also going to change it to an improper fraction. So 5 times 8 is 40 plus 3. Common denominator is 15, so I'm going to multiply by 3 over 3 and 5 over 5. 3 times 43 is 129 fifteenths and 10 fifteenths. So if we add all of that, we get 139 fifteenths. Now, going back to our problem over here, I have 139 fifteenths. Okay, the improper fraction is going to be helpful in the next step as well. So now I multiply by the reciprocal. Those reduce completely to 1x. And now I have 139 times 11. Love times 11. Makes all kinds of cool patterns. So I've got 1,529 over 75. And that is the final answer, or you can change it to a mixed number if you want to. So you should be prepared to solve some more complicated equations with rational numbers.